Hey guys, it's Ted Bogert. Welcome back. You know me from the Ted Show, and of course you know me from Home Lending and Mortgage Group, but we're kicking off a new show. It is September 1st. Happy September. I'm here with one of my best friends, one of the best guys I know in the industry, the one and only CEO of Home Lending and Mortgage Group. It is Lawrence Heisler. Uh, we're launching the show Mortgage Matters. We want to talk about all things mortgages. Uh, not the boring stuff, but the stuff that you keep asking about and that you try to figure out on your own. And uh, Lawrence has been around a long time and he's got the insights. So we're going to chat about it. Uh, you know, I'll impart my wisdom in there. Probably not a lot, but we're going to absolutely tap into Lawrence's brain every single week live. Hey, buddy, how you doing? I am good, Ted. Good to see you. Happy Friday. Friday. Looking great as usual, my friend. Well, thank you. You too. Listen. It's Friday. I can't believe it's September 1st. I'm still kind of in shock over that. Uh, it's now it's getting to be fall. UCF had their game last night, right? I think Big yep. 12, all that good stuff. I'm talking like I know anything about that, but the foosball. Um, but I like September. I like this this time of year and I'm super excited for what we have to come. So before we get into Mortgage Matters, why don't you tell them a little bit about you for those who might not know who you are? All right. Yeah. So um, I'm Lawrence Heisler. I've been uh, 25 years now, Ted, in the mortgage business. Can you believe wow. that? You were a babe. Yeah. A baby. Uh, yeah. I was about 10 when I got started. And <laughs> uh, and uh, we'll go with that. But, That's good. Um, I like it. But yeah, I, uh, I I love the mortgage business. I really do. I've, I've It's been a passion of mine to be able to work with people and help uh, people get into homes. And it, it it, you kind of get, um, I think, hardened in this business sometimes because of everything that we have to do to get somebody to the closing table. And it's just a, yeah, it's a lot. But but when you see the clients and you find out the impact that it makes on their lives, it makes it just worth all the stress and headaches that we go through to get them there. So um, I have no plans on stopping this business and I want to retire helping as many people as I can to get into homes. And uh, and therefore I started Home Lending Mortgage Group. So uh, amongst my 25 or, you know, during my 25 years, I've had my own company, I've managed companies, I've managed offices, I've, um, I've just been a loan originator, you know, so I've been through everything and I've worked for direct lenders, you know, mortgage banks, I've, you know, and now, um, Home India Mortgage Group is a mortgage brokerage business, which out of all the models, to me, is the best. Why? Why is it the best? I think people don't understand the difference between direct lender and mortgage broker. So give them a little bit of information on that. Yeah. So basically, we have the ability to work with almost an infinite amount of lenders. And we're talking wholesale lenders. So we sort of cut out the middleman. We'll put it in terms that people can understand. When you work with a direct lender, let's say, that direct lender has their own um, administrative office, they have their own buildings, they have their own overhead. And so they have to take a big chunk out of, out of that before they can pass it on to the consumer. Where we're working directly with the wholesaler. So we get better pricing. I mean, it, it's better interest rates is what it is at the end of the day. So that that's a big draw, but also, being able to have like such a variety of programs um, that we can really get anybody that's approvable. We, we've got a program to get them approved. So that that's the two big things I look at that put us apart from. Lenders. I love I love the mortgage bro. I, I started out by originally with a direct lender, and so moving to being a mortgage, working with a company that's a mortgage broker as mortgage brokers. Just being able to say yes instead of constantly no if it didn't fit in the tiny little square peg you had to say no and nothing against my friends that do direct lending i know they're doing great and they're flourishing but for me coming from the insurance world and being an independent insurance agent it's the closest thing to it you want to you want to take a look everybody's got a different program a little bit of different guidelines um, and so we're able to take the buyer and kind of work with what they have and find the best program for them with their scenario. And as you probably have experienced like me, I know we both have, um, buyers are coming to us and there's, you know, things that we have to overcome. There's challenges we have to overcome. This market's a little bit different. It's shifted. 
Uh, and so being able to be a mortgage broker and have opportunities and options for them is a big deal. Yeah, and, and speed's a big thing too. So being on the other side of the fence, I, I, I remember, um, you know, I, like trying to make a point to people like, well, you can't work with a broker because they, they're at the mercy of the lender and they take forever to get closed. That is so far from the truth. The, the fact of the matter is these wholesale lenders have have they have really honed in their 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 business and their skills. And um, it's unbelievable. We had we had a loan last month that closed in seven days, which I have I've never worked for a lender that could get it done that quick. So so it's it's cool. We, we, we're quick on our feet. We, we've got a variety of programs. Um, uh, we still give the same service that I've always given. We're in direct communication with our agents and our clients on a regular basis. Um, and, and I take pride in that. And I, I, I personally give my cell phone number to my agents and my clients and the listing agents, everybody in the transaction, guys, here, call me. If you have anything at all, I don't care what time it is, when it is, if you have a problem or you have something you have a question about, call me. So the service part of it is always going to be tight with my company. I agree. I totally agree. Uh, talk a little, let's talk about some topics because, uh, good morning, Wendy Stewart. See, I can see comments live. I don't know if you can see them on your end. What's up, Wendy Stewart? Happy Friday. Um, the big, the, you know, the elephant in the room. Talk a little bit about what your thoughts are on interest rates. Yeah. So everybody's topic. asking. I <laughs> and if I didn't ask it, I would we would get off here and people go, why didn't you talk about interest rates, Ted? Yeah. So great question. And and of course, everybody knows that the rates have gone up substantially since last year. Um, and and so now the question is, what's next? Where are they going? And, and first of all, let's talk about the interest rates going up. So when they first started going up, everybody pretty much stopped, right? Like, Oh my God, I can't buy a house. I, you know, let's wait till they go back down. Well, the chances of them ever getting back down into the, the twos and even the threes, we may never see that again in our lifetime. So, you know, I think people finally understand like that was such a special time and a lot, and those that were fortunate enough to buy then awesome. You timed it perfectly. Right. But now we're getting back to what's more of a realistic market and, and, and most of the people that have been around for a while know that even as, as high as the rates are now, they're not anywhere close to how high that they've been in, in the past, right? Like we've seen 12, 15, 17% interest rates. So it all comes down to what's really important to a client. What are they looking to do? Why are they buying a house? What is their big why, their reason to want to buy a house? And where are they living now? And what are they paying now? So as interest rates have climbed up, so has rent and people are learning quickly that they get settled into what their rent is. And then all of a sudden the landlord says, Hey, guess what? We're going to go up another $500 a month. It's true. And they're getting body slammed with this. So, so what we're trying to focus in more on is what is an affordable payment that a, a client would, would be comfortable with that's in their budget um and we'll get them into the house now as opposed to waiting until the rates go down so that's really what we're focusing on so where are we at right now on a 30-year fixed with really good credit you're you're going to be probably somewhere in the sevens right now um it actually creeped up over eight percent i saw a statistic about a week ago that the average rates were at 8.0 something um, but they've trickled back down and, and they're floating around in that sevens range right now. Yeah, I, I think it, I'm so glad you brought that up because I hear a lot out there. Well, you know, just hold off until the rates come back down or get now and refinance when the rates come back down. And it, I think that there could be some, obviously I'm, I'm in the same belief system as you that I think we'll see some trickle down, but we're never going to see twos and threes again. I doubt it in our lifetime for sure. Um, but I think that it's important to educate. That's what we're trying to do here on the show too, is educate you all kind of our, our background and our thought process on interest rates and the market and what we see on a daily basis and how it goes. And because Lawrence has so much experience, it's good to tap into that brain while the, while it's still morning. So we'll still, uh, we're tapping into that brain before it gets crazy in the day. Um, I'd be remiss if I didn't talk a little bit about hometown heroes because, 
uh, that I keep hearing, well, that program is gone, but it, it's it's going to come back. Uh, we're just waiting for it to be uh, funded again. What are your thought process there, people who are holding off and waiting for it to come back? Yeah, Hometown Heroes was super popular, especially when they opened it up to anybody that works in Florida, not just the heroes that you know it originally was intended for. Um, initially, they were saying it was going to be about a year before they opened it back up. Now we're hearing that by January, they may open it up. I think it may be even sooner. Um, it's a very popular program. We all know that our governor is running for president and he's looking for ways to you know keep in good favor with the pe with the people of florida and, and this certainly did that um it, it it's great for our housing market and you know we know how much is how much of the economy is driven by the housing market so um i wouldn't be surprised if we see it come out even sooner than the beginning of the year but with that and with that being said, I think it's also important to to let our customers know that there are other ways to get them into the house right. with very little or nothing out of biz, out of pocket. Um, and 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 so we've got loan programs for that. We've got other down payment assistance programs that are super popular and are are readily available in the state of Florida. So we encourage our clients that that haven't put a whole lot of money aside to buy a house to still come and talk to us. Let's see what we can do to help them. We're we, we like to put the puzzle together. That's what being a broker is all about. You know, you take all the pieces and you you try to figure out where the pieces go based on that particular person's or that those particular buyers scenario. Jim Alifat, hey Jim, says, looking at the history of rates, these are still relatively low historically. They were 11 to 13% when he first started in the mortgage business. I've known Jim for a thousand years. Uh, and he's right. I mean, it double digits, man. That's what it was. It was crazy. Uh, but people still bought homes. Uh, we just got super spoiled. We really did. Yeah. Yeah. I had a customer about a month ago that was, you know, uh, rightfully complaining about where the interest rates are right now. And, and I said, hey, do me a favor. Go home and ask your dad yeah. what the rate was on his first house he bought. And she called me the next day and said, OK, I guess it's not that bad of a rate. <laughs> It's historically it's not. And then the other thing is you have other bills that you're paying an APR of 20 percent, 18 percent, 24 percent. You just have to look at your scenario. You want to make sure you're not house poor, uh, but you want to work with a professional. And we'd love for you to work with us uh, because we'll, we don't want you to get into a house where you have immediate regret. And um, it's too close to call as far as being able to comfortably make your payments every month. We really do. Yeah sit down and work with you. Well, and I think something that's really important to point out, and you had kind of alluded to this earlier, Ted, is um, I call it the cost of waiting. Okay, so so people, again, they'll say, well, let's just hold off on buying and let's wait until the rates go down. So so let's take that scenario and, and, and kind of kind of slice it up here a little bit. Right now, we have some really cool things working for us as buyers in this market we're seeing seller concessions that we did not see six months or a year ago. Right. We're seeing prices that are stabilized. They're not going crazy every month. We're in more of a realistic market. So if you were to buy today, even if the rates were going to drop and, you know, let's say we're confident they're going to drop in a year or two, we're, we're hopeful. I don't know what's going to happen. I wish I had that crystal ball. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I would have bought, bought Apple stock when it was about a dollar <laughs> share. But, but anyhow, so so with that being said, if you were to wait to buy, then you have to understand what's going to happen when you wait. So when interest rates go down, what's going to happen to the market? Well, more buyers are going to come out, which means demand is going to go up, which means sellers now have more buyers looking at their house which means they can then raise the price of that house. Okay, so you're gonna be looking at higher prices on homes, significantly higher if rates do drop. Number two is right now, if you buy, you're gonna you're gonna lock in the taxes based off of the tax roll today. So again, every year that you wait to buy, that tax roll is gonna go up and you're gonna pay more in, in um, uh, real estate taxes. Um, so, 
there's some huge factors that go into waiting, not to mention that if you're renting right now, then your interest rate is 100%. Right? <laughs> it's, it's crazy so, out there because of the, the rent situation, especially in Central Florida. I mean, it's everywhere, but it's it's crazy. I was talking to somebody who's paying twenty eight or twenty nine hundred dollars a month and for rent uh, and had to come up with the first months, the last months and the security deposit. So you're already at nine grand ish there uh, just to get in. I mean, nine grand is a lot of money that you would have had to have saved. So you're you're getting in this range of, hey, why would not why would I not want to have that money and put it toward my down payment on my mortgage or put it toward uh the closing costs and really really get into a house that's yours i mean i i preach this all the time i also think that people you're talking about the cost of waiting uh it's the same people who uh said six months after the rates started going up gosh i should have done it in 2020 i should have done it in 2021 and they absolutely should have and it's just because it's a lower interest rate doesn't mean that you are you waiting is going to be a good thing just don't yeah. think that these rates are going to go back to down to 2%. Uh, I, yeah. I seriously doubt that will ever happen. I, I always encourage customers that are thinking about buying to just Google a chart of housing prices throughout history and just look at the last, look at 30 years. And the chart goes like this, right? Now it'll have little wiggles in between. Right. And you may, might get caught in one of those wiggles where maybe you paid more or you were at the top of the market at that time and the market dips a little tiny bit. But even the worst market crash that we will ever see in our lives in 2008. And when those values dropped, everybody said, oh, they're never going to come back to where they capped out. at." And guess what? They not only came back, but they're higher than that now. Sure did. So over time, real estate's always going to be a great investment and and you know, run the numbers and look. And I always also tell my clients, I have clients that will say, well, Lawrence, you know, you got me pre-approved, but I, I can't find anything in that price range. And my first question to them is, well, where are you looking? Right. So, you know, take a drive, go around Central Florida and look at what, you know, Central Florida has to offer. And I'm talking like outside of Orlando, right? Like go right. to Davenport, go to, go to Mineola or out past Mount Dora, Sorrento and there's beautiful areas that are selling houses for much, much less than what you're going to find in, you know, maybe the downtown Orlando uh, area. So there's values out there still. There are. All right, Lawrence, what's the best way they can find out more about you, us and Home Lending of Mortgage Group? Yeah, so we love people to go to our website. You can check out everything there. We've got all of our loan officers. We've got Ted on there. We've got um everything that all the all the people that work uh here at the at, at this great company it's it's homelandia mortgage um you can also reach out to me directly my cell number is 407-448-3303 um if you reach out to ted you want to reach me ted can um hook you up with me as well so um yeah thanks so much for having me on ted and i just great every say week yeah, I, I, we're, we're growing, guys. So if any of you have thought about a career in the mortgage industry or you're in the industry now and you're 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 maybe not real happy where you're at or you're looking for a change, um, just let us know. We would love to talk to you and see if uh, if Home India might be a good fit for you and for us as well. That's a great point. That's a really great point. And we have so much more that we're going to be talking about every week on Mortgage Matters. So if you have questions or something you want us to talk about, just shoot me a text or message me. Um, I'd love to have a topic where I know it's on everybody's mind because there's a lot on everybody's minds right now. And so we want to be a resource for you. We want to be your partner. Uh, and so reach out to us every week here. Mortgage Matters. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate you. Y'all have a great long weekend and we'll see you soon. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thanks, Dan.